so let's discuss a problem from gate 2021 physics which is from quantum mechanics so it is related to the hermitian matrices eigenvalues product and properties of these hermitian mat matrices so the problem is this if p and q are two hermitian matrices there exists a matrix r which diagonalizes both of them such that r p on r inverse is equals to s1 r q r inverse is equals to s2 so here they have given p and q are the hermitian matrices and uh, we need to imagine a matrix r uh, which diagonalizes these matrices so that also they have given yeah, so this is the way it is diagonalizing so here you can see so when we multiply this p matrix with r on the left and r inverse on the right so we would get a diagonal matrix here also the same for the q so here just r is what you are all doing is it's just diagonalizing these two matrices diagonalizing means suppose we have a matrix like this a b c d like that so it is after diagonalization it gets converted as follows this like this so some lambda one lambda one zero zero lambda two so like that like this so here we can see only principal diagonal elements are there remaining all the elements are zero so the matrix which is of this form is being converted to this form in diagonal form so that is nothing but diagonalization so here p and q are were like this initially so they were converted to this form by the r matrix so that is the meaning of this formula and next where s1 and s2 are diagonal matrices so here it is clearly given this s1 and s2 are diagonal matrices because here r is diagonalizing them the correct statement is r so we need to find out which uh, which uh, statement is correct or uh, how many statements are correct which are the statements correct so before that let's have a look on what is a hermitian matrix a hermitian matrix is a square matrix so it is a square matrix it is a 2 by 2 it can be 2 by 2 1 by 1 3 by 3 matrix but it cannot be 2 by 3 4 by 3 like uh, rectangular matrices which is equal to its conjugate transpose matrix that means let a be a matrix so if a is a matrix and if we take the transpose of this matrix and again if we apply conjugate so that is nothing but a transpose conjugate then the finally obtained matrix would be equal to the original matrix so that is nothing but a uh, hermitian matrix so that is given which is equal to its conjugate transpose matrix so if a matrix if any matrix if a, if the transpose for suppose if for the matrix A, uh, if the transpose conjugate of the matrix is equal to A. So that is A transpose conjugate is equals to A. That is nothing but Hermitian matrix. And another important thing is the non-diagonal elements of Hermitian matrix are all complex numbers. Non-diagonal means so these are the diagonal elements. Here example is also given. So this is non-diagonal. So they would be complex numbers they are such that the element of i row and j column is the complex conjugate of the element of j row and i column so yes these are the example of that matrix so here if we see this is the element of first row second column and this is the element of second row first column so this is i and this is j so they are just interchange i row j column and j row i column so these two elements are nothing but complex conjugate of each other the complex conjugate of 3 minus 2i is 3 plus 2i in a similar manner the complex conjugate of 3 plus 2i is nothing but 3 minus 2i so they are just complex conjugate to each other 
So these are the example for the Hermitian matrix. Here also we can see this is the tree by tree matrix, square matrix. So here all the principal diagonal elements are normal, but remaining non-principal diagonals are all complex, and uh, they are such that. So the complex conjugate uh, of two plus i is two minus i. That is, this is uh, first row second column. This is second row first column third element. And complex conjugate of 5 minus 4i is 5 plus 4i. So this is first row, third column. This is third row, first column. And this 6i. Complex conjugate of 6i is nothing but minus 6i. So there is no real part in this. So minus 6i. So this is second row, third column. And this is third row, second column. So these elements are just complex conjugates to each other. We can see here. So the uh, it uh, Hermitian matrix would have this following form. So that is the definition of Hermitian matrix. Next, uh, so in order to solve this problem, we must have an idea on properties of Hermitian matrix. The elements of principal diagonal element of a are real numbers. So here we can see this. These are all real numbers. All of them are real numbers. The non-diagonal elements are complex. So that also we have seen non-diagonal elements. They are all complex numbers. The sum of any two Hermitian matrices is Hermitian. So if we add up any two Hermitian matrices, the resultant matrix would also be Hermitian. The inverse of Hermitian matrix is also Hermitian. And the product of any two Hermitian matrices is a Hermitian. This is also a very important point. So if we do product of between any two Hermitian matrix, the resultant matrix would also be Hermitian. The determinant of Hermitian matrix is real. That is, it has real eigenvalues. That means, uh, we know that the determinant is nothing but product of the eigenvalues of a given matrix. So, for the Hermitian matrices, the eigenvalues are the real numbers. So, this is the very, very important point. This point. This is very, very important point. So Hermitian matrices have real eigenvalues. Eigenvalues of Hermitian matrices are real ones because the determinant which we would get for them is real one. And determinant is nothing but product of the all the eigenvalues. Suppose if uh, A is a mat Hermitian matrix and lambda 1, lambda 2 are the eigenvalues. So the product of them is nothing but the determinant of A. So if the determinant is uh, real, then the two numbers would also be real. The product of two real numbers is a is again a real number like that. So this is the these are the properties. Now let us look into the problem. So in the problem, what they have given P and Q are the Hermitian matrices. That means P transpose conjugate is equals to P and Q transpose conjugate is equals to Q. So this is nothing but the definition of Hermitian matrices. And next, uh, we, we need to see. So Hermitian matrices as they are given. So this one they have given. So we are just solving this. And then, and then we also need to find out whether P, Q, Q, P have complex second values. So if they are Hermitian, they won't have complex second values. If they are not Hermitian, then it is. So here you can see QP whole transpose conjugate. So we know that AB whole transpose is nothing but uh, B transpose into A transpose. The same formula applies here. So QP whole transpose conjugate is nothing but P transpose conjugate Q transpose conjugate. And, and we have found that P transpose is not conjugate is nothing but P and Q transpose conjugate is nothing but Q. So this till now we have got this. So simplification for this, uh, uh, let us keep it like this. And this is this was the thing which was given in the question. So these S1 and S2 are the diagonal matrix. Because, because here matrix R is just diagonalizing this P and Q matrices. So now what we can do here is, so in order to get P and Q from the, this, what we can do, operating with R inverse on to the left and R on to the right on both sides what we will get is this so R inverse into R R inverse into R would get uh, would become I IPI 
that is nothing but p i into p p into i is nothing but p only so finally we will get this here also same operating with r inverse on to the left and r inverse on to the right sorry operating r inverse on to the left and r on to the right so r inverse into r r inverse into r i so q would remain so here this is r inverse on to the left and r on to the right so this is the simplification and next so here let us suppose as they have given they are the diagonal matrix the form would be like this so these are the diagonal matrices obtained from p and q that means so uh, another important property of eigenvalues is that uh, trace of principal diagonal elements is nothing but equal to the sum of all the eigenvalues so a uh, trace of a matrix is nothing but equal to the sum of all the eigenvalues that is summation lambda i this is another very important property of the eigenvalues so here this is nothing but matrix p and this is also matrix uh, q so sorry this so actually uh, in the process of diagonalization if we are converting the matrix of this form to this form so in the process of converting this matrix to this form from this form to this form if we uh, convert it that is lambda some lambda eigenvalues lambda 1 0 0 lambda 2 like that with its uh, eigenvalues so uh, so we would get eigenvalues in the principal diagonal because sum of the eigenvalues is nothing but uh, uh, some uh, trace of that matrix so if this matrix gets converted after the few operations so this matrix is this matrix is same as this matrix uh, but it is just uh, obtained by a series of operations so yeah, just like row operation column operations if we obtain we can get this uh, this matrix from this matrix so we are just applying operations so that is nothing but diagonalization so in the after getting diagonalized so this is nothing but p matrix this is nothing but q matrix so it would have its own eigenvalues in the principal diagonal here it would have its own eigenvalues from the property of eigenvalues so that's why we have written in this form so and hermitian matrices have real eigenvalues hermitian matrices must be having real eigenvalues even though there might be some complex elements inside that uh, matrix but overall finally what we would get is real eigenvalues hermitian matrices having real eigenvalues so the all the elements of s1 are real all the elements of uh, s2 are real so y means zero is a real and uh, these eigenvalues are real as we have said now because uh, it is said they are just diagonal matrices of the p and q matrices which are hermitian so all these elements are real so uh, this is uh, one of the points and next is uh, we need to see whether p and q commute with each other or not so if we are from the formula of commutation of p and q p q minus q p so now only we have found out p is nothing but this and q is nothing but this so in the place of p we need to substitute this and in the place of q we need to substitute this so this is the thing r inverse s r r inverse uh, s1 r r inverse s2 r here also this is qp so it is related to s2 q is related to s2 so this qp now here r r inverse would uh, get uh, would become i so what would remain here is r inverse s1 s2 r here also the same r r inverse would become i so what would remain is r inverse s2 s1 r and next from the left hand side we can take r inverse so this is r inverse and in the similar manner from the right hand side r could be taken out 
so in the middle what would remain is uh, only this s1 s2 minus s2 s1 so this and uh, as we already know that s1 and s2 are diagonal matrices matrices they would have this form so s1 s2 is nothing but equal to s2 s1 because diagonal matrix matrices commute with each other s1 s2 so if we do product of these diagonal matrices it would be equal whether it is, uh, it is s1 s2 or it, whether it is s2 or s1 both of them would be equal so finally this is zero that means commutation of pq pq is zero that is pq minus qp is zero so that is why pq is equal to qp so they commute with each other and this finally what we need to do is we need to substitute this in equation one so in equation one we have just seen this qp whole transpose conjugate that means then we have a p transpose q controls p transpose into q transpose p transpose is nothing but p p transpose conjugate is p q transpose conjugate is q so pq we have got and from this pq is nothing but equal to qp so finally what we are getting is uh, qp whole transpose conjugate is equal to qp so this is the property of hermitian ma matrix so qp is also a hermitian matrix so that that's now we have found out uh, we have found from the properties product of two hermitian matrices is again a hermitian matrix so it has real eigenvalues this is nothing but property of hermitian matrix and in the similar fashion pq whole transpose conjugate is equal to q transpose conjugate p transpose conjugate by using a formula a b whole transpose b transpose into a transpose and q transpose is nothing but q and p transpose conjugate is nothing but p and we know that q p is equal to p q so that one we have got so finally what we have got p q whole transpose conjugate is equal to p q so this is also a hermitian and it has got real eigen values so finally the we need to see which options are going to match all the elements of both the matrices s1 and s2 are real because they are the diagonal matrices of the hermitian matrices which containing eigenvalues of them real eigenvalues just now we have discussed and matrix pq can have complex eigenvalues pq is a hermitian matrix it's, it cannot have complex eigenvalues and matrix qp can have complex eigenvalues qp is also a hermitian matrix and it cannot have complex eigenvalues and finally the matrices p and q commute because commutation of p comma q is zero we have got as two diagonal matrices commute with each, each other so the correct options are a and d for this problem so thank you